I like history. When I came to this program, my understanding for art history changed even more. I learned about Radcliffe Bailey, Kehinde Wiley, people like that that make art to tie us to our ancestry. Just getting to know like all these black artists that I didn't even know about was just enlightening. Art made by people of color is very important because it makes people of color feel welcome in art spaces and that's something that sometimes is uncommon due to the fact that there's a lack of diversity in staff in those places that house the art. Our specific assignment was to create a label for an art piece that we chose and we had to present it in five to eight minutes. My piece was less influenced by Amalia Maki in 1999 and I felt it was really important because Amelia Maki was a Spelman professor and she also had her work recognized at Spelman. I chose this particular painting because it reminded me of myself. The African-American woman that was in the post, she kind of reminded me of my grandmother. The artist, Francis Chris, told a story in the painting. I wanted to like research and learn more about it. I chose the piece Trails and Trials, A Century's Journey to a Dream by Roberto Lugo. This piece kind of alludes to the work called The Centennial Vase. And so the High Museum commissioned Roberto Lugo to make a vase that portrayed Atlantis history and he incorporates modern day issues with it. I'm an artist at my school, it's one of my majors, so I like working with sculpture more. My piece is A Young Woman of Trastevere, age 25, by Charles Cordier. He was a French ethnographic sculptor and he was trying to show the ubiquity of beauty in various races. The piece I chose for an individual project, it was a bowl by Paul Ding Farnham. It was for the Paris Exposition Universal, which was in 1900. I'm especially interested in decorative art to the early 20th century because they have a lot of non-Western influences because you don't see that in years prior with a lot of American and European decorative art. I got to meet different curators and hear their stories, and it kind of inspired me to like want to find what I want to do when I get older and like pursue my dream. I hope in the future that art it becomes more diverse and that not only is our art in museums, but we're also having positions of leadership within those museums because that could really create change. The sisterhood of Spelman was brought through in the college experience. I just didn't realize how much work went into it in terms of like actually getting the exhibit opened and up and running. I already had this mindset of what African art was, but when I came here, it was so broad. It's not just wooden figures and just masks. It's so many things, and that's what's actually really making me want to be a curator now.